this just in guys dragon ball sparking zero will be available for demo at jump victory carnival on july 21st if anyone's wondering what that is it's a, an event similar to jump festa that happens in japan so unfortunately it won't be available for all of us but the fact that we even have a demo this soon is very very exciting but amongst other things we have the demo coming out and also a new trailer that just released you know hot off the press talking about all of the fusion characters that will be available in the game so without further ado let's get into the video and break down what characters we've seen and what else we can look forward to going forward and of course as always like subscribe and watch to the end guys but before we get into those characters we also have the summer game fest coming on the 7th of june as well as the playstation showcase coming on today actually it's actually today on may 30th so stick around look out for that and i'm sure there will be some interesting updates for the games and just gaming in general so look out for that so just to be quick at first we have they showcase the characters obviously that do fuse but at the end of the video they don't really do that so i'm hoping i mean I'm, they already showed the characters so i know we'll be good but we see goten and trunks at first fighting goten and trunks even do a you know best friend kamehameha which is pretty cool i always loved that trunks could do the kamehameha because it just added some nuance to the actual show i always hated that goten really couldn't do much of trunks moves though like gallic gun or anything like that but i guess vegeta didn't take the time to teach them that stuff um then we have kale and Khalifla, and they have those other two saiyans from universe six if you remember them in the tournament of power and then obviously they fight off for a little bit eventually they fuse into their version so then we see kefla who's a fused version of kale and Khalifla, and then we see gotenks of course the most iconic fusion version of all later we then see we see a battle of gogeta versus vegeto which is like the most iconic and favorite you know power scaling and fan debate out there for dragon ball but it's interesting because pay attention they actually gave them like specific voiceovers for this specific battle like they say things that are specific to each other i don't know if this will be in the game or if they just made this for the trailer but it's very interesting maybe there'll be a whole story arc of vegeta versus gogeta and technically gogeta wasn't canon for a while but i think with the super movie of brawly gogeta is now canon so that's good but it still raises questions will there be gt characters or will that be strictly dlc i've been seeing some things online saying that it'll be strictly dlc to see anything gt but we still have to have super saiyan 4 gogeta as well he's left out of this one so we can almost likely assume that it'll be a dlc we even get few zamasu at the end so we know that he's a, another fusion because he uses the patara earrings which is goku black and regular zamasu the kai form but it's interesting because he, we also see his imperfect form i don't know if that'll be a whole nother form or if that's just a transformation he always seemed weaker in that form to me though in the show so i don't know if that it's gonna be like maybe just a super attack form or whatever the case is but they're doing really good with fusions i feel like they should have added piccolo as well you know because when piccolo fused with kami or with nail but those fusions aren't even that strong so i guess they left them out but if you guys really know your dragon ball z lore we were doing fusions way before the fusion dance because piccolo and the namics always used to fuse to you know gain more power and strength but at this point i'm really thinking they're just gonna keep milking this and this is just really like a marketing campaign don't expect the game anytime soon guys like let's be honest they're adding like what eight characters characters a trailer maybe three or four like this one is a really a lot less characters they only added a couple so don't expect the game anytime soon man unless they just start dropping all the characters all at once because i mean there's going to be a lot of like fluff characters that we really don't care about that i'm sure won't really need a trailer and i feel like as far as the big 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 name characters we've kind of gotten through most of them so maybe we do just get like a bunch of fluff characters and they just drop the game and you play the game to see what characters they have from there of course there's going to be dlcs and things like that but now before i leave off because this is going to be a short video i pose two questions Questions. who is stronger let me know in the comments vegeto or gogeta and let me know what forms you think are stronger obviously vegeto we've never seen a super saiyan um ssj4 because that doesn't exist in that canonical version of dragon ball but gogeta has both forms super saiyan blue and super saiyan 4 so tell me which forms you think are stronger overall also my other question would be what game outlasts the other because let's be honest guys dragon ball xenoverse 2 is still getting updates so that being said i have a feeling that people might not switch over to dragon ball sparking zero especially for the fact that you can't really play you know with friends i, I mean everyone that does, you can't do that with dragon ball xenoverse 2 either but everyone's already used to xenoverse 2 and the dlcs are pretty updated and they're pretty consistent and i don't really ever remember xenoverse 2 being that bad of a game so let me know what you guys think in the comments um will multiplayer be a make or break for sparking zero will it not i'm talking about the local multiplayer by the way but let me know what you guys think in the comments man and let me know who you're excited to play with most out of all these characters that we just talked about about. and let me know in the game like what you're excited for as far as dragon ball z sparking zero and just dragon ball in general whatever's coming next as far as anime and let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next before i leave off remember to as always find your zen your final form i'll definitely catch you in the next one guys